Hey everyone, it's Kate, and today is day two of our chai tea sew along, and I am going to show you how to uh, put the yolk on with the burrito method. I was going to do the, the yolk and the neckline today, but that's that's just too much. So we'll do the neckline actually on Saturday. Uh, I was going to have a guest speaker on Saturday, but the California smoke, <clears throat> as I cough is here and she is really bothered by the smoke. So we're gonna have her in a week and a half. So this coming Saturday, I will do the neckline on the chai tea. Um, so I love, I love a burrito method so much. And so I'm ex really excited to show you how to do it today. So the, the yoke pieces look like this, um, and you cut two that look like this and two that are mirror images that look like that. And um, then you sew them to the front shoulder pieces. So, the, oh, also I forgot to tell you that I basted the, hopefully you could see, I. I basted the pleats in place on the front shoulder pieces. And so you're gonna take one yoke piece and put it right sides together with the front shoulder piece. And there's a curved edge on the yoke pieces and that should be the neckline. So there's a straight edge here, which is where the sleeve is. I found this a little bit confusing because I was thinking that the curved edge would be the armhole but nope, it's the neckline. So there are two notches on, on one of these straight edges and that's the two notches match up with the two pleats. So I'm gonna take one of the yoke pieces and pin it right, right sides, sides together with the shoulder piece. Oops, I feel like I need to. I'm not, not matching, matching up my pleats very well. I'm going to move it <laughs> right here. Um, I love I love using pins, pins as my notches for this because then they're just waiting for pinning my seams together. I kind of wish I would make myself do it with little pins as well, but for some reason it feels like too much work. So. Um, Let's, Let's see, see. I've got, got one yoke piece pinned to my shoulder seam. And, and now I'm gonna take the other one and I'm gonna put it right side to wrong side. And um, that's because you're gonna be able to just see the right side of the yoke on the inside of your shirt, which is really fun. So I'm lining up. And now I'm pinning the three layers together. And, I, oh, I lost one of my pins. Um, so the cool thing about knits is if things don't line up exactly right, you can just stretch one of them. So, okay, so I've got three layers and I am going to sew this at half inch and I'm going at the half inch seam allowance and I'm going to use a three millimeter straight stitch because I like to use a straight stitch on shoulder seams so that they um, are a little bit more stabilized. So I'm going to go over the sewing machine and I know you can't totally see my sewing but around here, we, we don't want perfection to be the enemy of good enough. <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna be constantly improving the, ah, stop going backwards. Um, we'll be constantly improving our videos and our equipment. And I appreciate when you guys give me feedback about if you can hear me okay, if you can see what I'm doing. Um, 
because then I know what needs to be improved. So I have my stretch needle in and um, I have the dual feed engaged on my sewing machine, which really helps with knits. And I am gonna back stitch. This is a relatively new machine for me and it has a kind of funny back stitch mechanism, but I did it. All right, so I'm gonna head back over here. So I've sewn that and I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any unwanted hookers. Yep, looks good. And now I'm just gonna trim. Trim the seam allowance to about a quarter inch. Um, I'm uh, trimming the seam allowances are very important, but also very scary because I have in the past sometimes snipped into my garment and really been sad, but it's still important to get rid of that bulk. So we're gonna um, press the yoke, the seam allowance toward the yoke. So it's nice and flat. And now it's time for the burrito method. And if you know me, you know I love the burrito method. It's so magical. I um, teach it in my Learn to Sew Crash course. We make a pillow with the burrito method and it's really fun to see people get so, so surprised. So to do the burrito method in this case, I have the yolks um, the, out this way and the front right side up. I'm gonna roll up the burrito on the front piece till we're about an inch or two from the bottom of the yolks. And then I'm gonna grab the back piece and I'm gonna have it wrong side up, and I'm gonna roll from the bottom of the back piece. Roll it up. So when you're rolling, you're really just making the meat of the burrito, or the beans if you're vegan. <laughs> um, but, so you roll up the back with the wrong side up, and then you place the back burrito beans in between the front burrito beans and the bottom of the yolk. So you just snug it right up there. So you've got the two rolls. And now I'm gonna take this bottom yolk piece that is currently wrong side up. And I'm gonna pull it underneath and around the meat. Yes. So laying my wonderful camera person took my learn to sew crash course and learned the burrito method on a pillow. Little did they know that you could use it on an actual garment. So um, I have my, so now I have the two yoke pieces right sides together and I have the back shoulder seam in between them. And I've got my, my single notch pins to line up. Let's see if I can, of course, it goes really well and fast when I'm not on camera, but I'm gonna pin this little corner first and then get these three together. So Lane, can you kind of see what I'm doing? Okay, good. All right, so then I got the pin waiting. Yay. And I am gonna grab one more pin to get this end lined up. All right, so there's one burrito and now I'm going to take this underneath um, yolk and pull it around the meat and oops this first yolk is right here 
And then here is my shoulder seam that's going to be sandwiched in them. And then the second yoke is coming up and around. And all the meat is inside. So now my yokes are right sides together. My back shoulder seam is in between them. And I have my three pins. This is not going to be correct, but I will do it right in just a second. Um, oh, here's this. Um, so when I had my students do this, I have them pin two layers first and then bring the third layer up and around. But, and so if that's easier for you, you can. But it's, you're gonna want three, three layers at the shoulder seam -ish and um, with just making sure that the two yokes are right sides together. So now I have a burrito with meat in the middle and the tortillas um, ready to sew together. So I'm gonna sew both of these seams at the half inch with a straight stitch at three millimeters. So here we go. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in my tips and tricks for sewing with knits video is that I never use the lightning stitch that comes with the machine because although it's a lovely stretch stitch, it's always way too small and it's, I would never be able to rip it out. And I, I don't know about you, but I cannot so a seam that will never be able to be ripped out because you never know. Um, so I'm once again using the straight, a kind of longer straight stitch, three millimeter straight stitch. And um, I'm not really I'm not stretching, stretching while I sew while I because I do, I don't really, I don't really want this seam to stretch, to stretch much. I don't want it to get out of shape and it doesn't need to stretch around my body. So, um, so I'm sure if you live in the West, you are experiencing smoke right now. It's ugh, kind of brown outside. I know it's much worse where the fires are actually occurring. And here in Montana, we usually have really bad fires at this time of year. We really lucked out. So I'm glad we only only have the smoke from other fires. Okay, I did one shoulder and now I'm gonna do the second one. Um, get right in here. Um, here we go. Oops, I can feel a lump, which I don't want. Okay. I do remove the pins as I go, even though I pin perpendicular. And almost done. Back stitch. And forward. All right. Okie dokie. So. I'm just going to peek a little bit. Looks pretty good. I don't see puckers. I'm going gonna, gonna to trim these seams so that there's not too much bulk inside my shirt. Um, I always really I use both hands and do not trim seams on my lap. I always want to make sure that the rest of the garment is well out of the way because I have snipped into the middle of things <laughs> in the past. So now, now we've, we've got, got our little burrito all sewn up. 
And all we need to do is pull the meat out and pull, pull, pull. I think. So, oh, here we go. Okay, so now here is the right side. There's one yoke and the other yoke. And then on the wrong side, there's one enclosed and the other enclosed. And I am deviating a little bit from the instructions. Um, the chai tea instructions have you just do one yoke and then sew the neckline in and then do the not do the a non burrito method on the second yoke. But I just think it looks so pretty to have them both completely enclosed that I completely sealed up the neckline and next week I will show you how to apply the neck binding with a closed up neckline. Um, the next step is to press, of course, and then top stitch at an eighth of an inch from the edge on all four um, edges of the yoke. Um, you can use a straight stitch. You definitely want to be using a walking foot or your dual feet to make sure it looks good. But we've got our yokes on and on Saturday we'll do, oh, we've got our yokes on. I'm gonna hold it up. We've got our yokes on and on Saturday, I will show you how to do the neck binding. So I will see you on Saturday at 10.30 Mountain Time. Bye-bye.